about as big as a brightly colored thumbnail, the spotted lanternfly may be pretty small, but this morning it has the potential to cause big problems. From New York to North Carolina and all the way west to Indiana, the invasive species has been spotted in at least 12 states this year. Their mouth parts are basically a straw, so they stab them into plants and drink plant juices. Well, the plants need those plant juices to make new leaves and to make fruits. Dr. Mark Willis, an entomologist who studies bugs, says fruit quality and quantity could suffer. In all, more than 70 plant species are at risk of death, with officials specifically warning the pests could seriously threaten grape, orchard, and logging industries, potentially costing the economy hundreds of millions of dollars each year, according to some estimates. The U.S. Department of Agriculture believes the species native to China first appeared in the U.S. back in 2014. Experts say they're not great flyers, but are still making their way across country because they're pretty good hitchhikers. A female could drop off of a plant and lay its eggs on the underside of your RV and you drive off on vacation and now the eggs are somewhere where they haven't been before. Spotted lanternfly are... Jennifer Greiser with Cleveland Metro Parks says they made their way to Ohio by train. They go after a large variety of hosts, uh, so different types of tree species, um, and also they create a big mess. She's worried about the spotted lanternfly's favorite snacks and the forest overall. There is the potential that one day a lot of the diversity we see out here could be eaten up, literally. If we aren't actively managing, but but we are, so you know we're we're doing the best we can to give our forest the the best chance possible going forward. So what can you do to save everything from beer hops to peach, plum, and poplar trees? If you spot these eggs, scrape them into a bag of hand sanitizer, seal it, and throw away. Also, watch out for oozing plants with a fermented odor, sticky fluid, plus sooty mold. And if you find the pesky pests themselves, they can't bite you. They don't have a stinger. You can help us all out if you step on it. And when you, when you see the red, squish. Squish. You heard right, kill the bugs. Have you done that? Yeah, I've crushed a few. A mission that now has social media buzzing. Show us how your lantern swapper works. You got it. Frappuccino cup works really well. It's my new go-to. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So, Jesse, everybody can do their part as you showed us there, but do scientists have any other strategies to get yeah. rid of them? <laughs> yeah, Tom, we definitely need bug backup because, as one of our experts pointed out, this is not a native species here. That means they don't have a natural predator mm. going after them. So now oh. scientists are possibly looking into bringing another species here that will oh, go that after the bugs, oh, but gosh. will be safe for us. But for now, the best piece of advice we're getting is go <laughs> after them ourselves. So grab your fly swatter, <laughs> maybe get the dust buster going if it's working oh, right, man. and get stomping. Oh, my, my God. God. Me. You said you saw one in I Central saw one in Park. Central Park, Thanks, and I stopped, and I said, oh, my, that's one of those those bugs. And then right behind me, a guy just went crunch oh, and no. took it out. Good yeah, so. job. Oh, yeah. That's it. But don't don't bring in another species. I, I that's know, a that's bad movie. Weird We've seen it. that movie before. That's not a good idea. <laughs> not going to end well. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.